Good morning, Jonathan Law. Today is Wednesday, November 21st, and it is E-Day. I'm Mike. And I'm Cameron, and here's today's announcements. <laughs> it's the season of giving, so take some time this month to give a gift to someone who may not be as fortunate as you. The National Honor Society is sponsoring the annual giving tree. To participate, take a card from the tree in the front lobby, buy the gift listed on the card, and then return the card and unwrapped gift to the tree by December 14th. Thank you and have a great holiday season. Come support the boys basketball team as they host their inaugural cornhole tournament on Saturday at 1 p.m. in the new gym. Everyone is welcome. Follow J Law Basketball on Twitter for the link to register. The cost is $20 for a team of two. Prizes will be awarded to the first and second place teams. We look forward to seeing everyone there. Interested in getting a civil discourse club up and running? We'll be talking current controversies and working together to find common ground. Join us December 3rd during Common Time in the Media Center to find out what it's all about. For more info, see Ms. Briggs in the Media Center. Attention book clubbers, the November 26th meeting is canceled. Please check your emails for rescheduling information or see Ms. Briggs in the Media Center. The Milford Health Department is providing free flu shots for any student between the ages of 5 and 18 at the Health Department next Saturday, December 1st, from 8.30 to 11.30 in the morning. Any questions, please see the nurse. Protect yourself from the flu. The Milford Public Library is hosting a free two-part FAFSA help program next week. There is an information session at the library on Monday, November 26th at 6.30 p.m., and people who attend this are invited back on Saturday, December 1st, to file the FAFSA with guidance. Today's word of the day is impasse. The definition is obstacle. Negotiations are at an impasse. Neither side is willing to compromise. And now we have an announcement from Ruz and Mr. K. Good morning, everybody. Uh, Ruz and I are here to uh, talk a little bit about last night's uh, powder puff game and to um, honor a couple of uh, girls who played phenomenal last night. First of all, we just want to thank everybody for coming out. Um, it's always awesome having the game here, and the crowd last night was phenomenal. We were so loud. Student section was rocking. Obviously, the game didn't end the way we wanted. It was a little confusing, but uh, it, uh, it was an awesome night all around. The girls played so hard. Both teams did, and uh, it was a great game. It was a great night, and um, we're here to um, announce our annual offensive and defensive MVP award winners. Uh, our offensive MVPs are Samara Thacker and Gina Bocamazzo. Uh, yeah. Um, Samara had about a thousand yards receiving, I think, last night and three touchdowns. And Gina threw all those passes for about a thousand <laughs> yards and three touchdowns. And uh, it just the bomb before the half was, was electric. And it was an overall great, uh, great job last night. So congrats. Thank you. So on the, uh, on the defensive side, I, I can't be more happy with everybody's performance. We played with all of our hearts, um, but, you know, there was one person that was the heart and soul of our defense, and she was just everywhere. It wasn't her side. She was there making the tackle, and that's our lovely linebacker, Abby Bernstein. Yeah. Thank you. So thank you guys again for coming out. It was an awesome night, and uh, just the crowd was great. Again, thanks for all the support. We appreciate it. I know the girls do, too. So. Happy Thanksgiving from uh, all of us at Powder Puff. And with that, uh, that's our show for today. Uh, if you uh, want to rewatch today's episode or if you missed an episode of Eagle Eye News, go to youtube.com slash JLHS Eagle Eye News. Have a great day, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving.